Alrighty guys, so let's get started with this video again. This is the 832 right here, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks that uh, we could do with this phone. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so again, this is the 832. Now on the side here, we have the volume up, volume down button and the power button uh, on the same side. There's nothing on this side. So that's all basically all you need to know. So in regards to the phone, let's get started with the first procedure of what to do. So let's say your phone uh, initially is frozen. So let's say it's frozen, you click on it, nothing happens. You try to click on any icons, nothing happens. So it's just completely, completely frozen. So what I want you to do is the following. In order to unfreeze the phone and to reset it. So if it's frozen and you wanna uh, unfreeze it or, and reset the phone, but when you click the power button, it doesn't do anything. It, you normally you're supposed to be able to do that and then reset it with the button here. But let's say it's frozen, you really can't do anything and you wanna get it out of this unfreezing mode, the easiest thing to do would be to press the volume down and power button at the same time. So we'll do it together. Volume down, power button at the same time. So let's do it. Now, keep pressing it, and then you're gonna see that you don't have to do anything. All you do is just wait, and then it will turn on by itself, and then we'll reboot the phone. So again, that's the first little uh, tip right there that uh, the volume down and the power button at the same time if you hold it it will turn off the phone if it's frozen if you need to reset it or sometimes you got the, the you know the google account and uh, you can't turn it off because it's going to ask you for the google account that's the best way to do it volume down and power uh, just keep holding it until the phone turns completely off and then starts rebooting and goes from there so again that's the first little uh, 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 trick and tip that I'm giving you for the A32. So let's move on to the next one, which will be putting the, the phone in a hard reboot. So let's do a hard reboot of this phone and I'll show you how to do that right now. Alrighty guys, procedure number two is as follows. We're gonna put the phone, uh, we're gonna do a factory reset via the buttons. Now, again, the first procedure we did was resetting, the, uh, rebooting the phone via the buttons. Now we're going to uh, do a uh, factory reset via the buttons on the phone. So. Again, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is turn off the phone. Now, if you could turn off with the button, hold the button and then turn it off and then power it off. Um, it's, you know, you could just wait for me there on, on the video. For people that cannot do that, the, for people that are basically stuck on the Google lock screen or pin screen or whatever, you have to do the following. You have to do the first procedure we did, which is the volume down and the power button, and that will turn off the phone. Now, as soon as you see the black screen, you have to do the following in order to get into the, uh, the reset option the factory reset option when we do that uh, we let go of both buttons and then right away switch over to volume up and power so again we're going to do it together so let's say again it's google locked or whatever it is we're going to do it together right now so let's do this volume down and power wait until it goes completely off keep waiting now switch volume up and power Keep holding volume up and power. You're gonna feel the phone vibrate. It's gonna turn back on. So keep holding it down. Keep holding it down. Again, don't let go. And there you go. So that's how you put the phone in a factory reset. And then you could literally just, you know, with the volume up or down, you could decide what you wanna do. And then with the power, you decide if you wanna reset factory reset or go from there but again um very simple procedure this is the second procedure so this this way you could put the phone uh, you could do a factory reset via the buttons so again it is basically just volume up and power and that will put the phone in a reset um in that actual screen and then you could go ahead and uh, decide what option you want to go from there okay all i did was just pick the first option with just reboot so the phone is just going to reboot back up i didn't want to do a factory reset because again the phone is not a factory reset just want to show you how to do it now for everybody that already doesn't have a google lock or anything all you have to do is just press the power button to shut off the phone and then as, as soon as the phone is completely off click the volume up and power and keep holding it until you see that screen with the android and then you could select a uh, factory reset. Okay guys, so again, that was procedure number two. Now let's move on to procedure number three, which is putting the phone in download mode. Alrighty guys, the uh, next procedure we're going to do is putting the phone in uh, download mode. So all for this, you're going to need a computer. Doesn't matter if it's a Mac or 
just your regular um, Windows uh, laptop, uh, the USB cord, and the actual phone. So the first thing you have to do is do the following. The phone is on, you have to turn it off. So we're gonna turn it off, press the power button, uh, and it's completely off. Now, again, this is the A32 5G. So again, for the 4G, it's a little bit different, but see if this one works for the 4G. Again, if it does, post it on the video. But for the 5G, you have to do the following. You have to press volume down and volume up at the same time and also power. So you have to press all three at the same time. And remember, you have to do it like at this, like all three at the same time and then right away plug in the USB cable. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to press them all. And then as soon as I press them, I'm going to plug in the, the cable. So let's do it. One, two, three. There you go. I'm pressing all three of them and there you go it's on uh, download mode i don't know if you guys could see it let me just kind of clear it but you see that blue screen right there that means it's an actual download mode i could zoom in for you guys there you go see right there download mode now again that's the um, easiest way to do it now i want to get out of download mode it tells you their volume up to continue or you could volume down to cancel and, re and reset the phone. So I'm doing a volume down to reset the phone because I don't want to put it in download mode, but I kind of wanted to show you how that worked. All right, guys, so again, very simple procedure. All you do, all you need is the computer, USB cable, and again, volume up, volume down, and the power, just have them ready. And then as soon as you press them, plug in the cable, keep holding them down, and then you're going to see that blue screen and that means it's going to download mode All right, guys so that's the download mode procedure let's move on to the last one which is putting your phone in uh, debug mode all right guys debug mode is actually very simple um, you will do it from the actual phone itself so let's just go here so you will go on top and you see the little wheel right here you will click on it which will be your settings and then we after you go into settings, you go all the way down to about phone, right there. Click on about phone. And then after that, you will go to software information, which is right here. Software information. And you see this screen. Now, all you have to do is go to where it says built number. And when you see built number, you have to press it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After the seventh time, it's gonna say developer mode enabled. The reason mine doesn't say this is because it's already been enabled. So I already did it. So you see it says uh, developer mode has been enabled. So in order to go into developer mode, after you do that seven times, you click the back arrow, back arrow. And then normally you won't see this option until you dub, um, click that, uh, the build number seven times. Once you do that, this thing will appear. It says developer options. You click on it and then you go all the way in, uh, at the bottom. It says USB debugging and you will turn it on if you need to for installs or updates or whatever you need to do with it that you need USB debugging turn on on the phone. All right, guys. So again, those are the procedures on how to actually uh, turn on different options within this phone, the A32. Now, again, this is the A32 5G. If you have one of the older models, the, uh, I believe it's the A32 4G. Uh, might be the button configuration might be a little bit different if you need assistance on that. Leave it in the comments. I'll try to post some information on it. But again, this is all you need to know in regards to the A32. There's actually one more thing I wanted to show you. However, this phone doesn't have that option. But let me just go about it real quick. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of A32s. Now, this one, when you go volume down, as you could see, the volume down it goes into mute right my other a32 it only goes up to vibrate and then i cannot get it to mute because even if i keep going down 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 it doesn't it doesn't have the option to go to mute it just goes to vibrate and that's it that's as far as it goes the easiest way to make your phone uh go mute if, if when you press the volume down it doesn't automatically do it like this phone is click on the upper screen and then make sure you get all these options available and then go to sound when you go to sound you could put a vibrate mode or you could put it into mute mode 
So that's what I'm using on the other 832 since when I click the volume down it doesn't work. And I don't know if it's the iOS, maybe I have to do an update on it. Maybe you guys know why, but the only way to put it in mute on the other 832 would be to go here, click on this little down and then click on mute or go to vibrating mode or sound mode and go from there. All right, guys, that's another little tip I showed you. Maybe that would help you guys out. Kind of was bothering me because I, it, it always used to vibrate and I sometimes I needed to go on mute and um, they didn't want to do it. So again, uh, if you guys have had that issue, please post that also in the comment so check it out so again guys those are all the, the procedures i'm showing you for the a32 if you like these kind of videos i could go over some other model phones just post it down there in the comments i could go over some iphone procedures on how to put in df on um, uh, you know download modes and, and and all the other ways just because um a lot of people sometimes have issues and it's very simple it, all all it is is a combination of buttons that you have to press and then go from there all right guys thanks again for checking out the procedures on the a32 5g if you got any more uh, comments or um, you know would like me to kind of check out some other phones post it down in the videos and i'll try to get those phones and post some videos about them all right guys